Good afternoon, Jason. Really appreciate you taking time out of your day to join me here for this interview. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are yourself? Good, good. Excited to see where this interview goes. Just wondering, how's your day been? Day's been quite good. Uh, woke up early ish, eight, uh, and then straight out the house, go in the shops, come back, prepare for the interview. Fair enough. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I saw a lot of wins from you in different campuses. So I'm interested, what is that all about? Well, um, I joined the real world um, around June last year, and I thought I would see what all the campuses are like. So I took around three weeks to a month in each of them, and I ventured out and seen what I could do, see what potential I had in all of them. The um, I found potential in the following campuses, the freelancing campus, the copywriting campus, and crypto here and there, but not too much. But yeah, those are the, the, those are the campuses that I've, uh, have been seeing wins in recently. Okay. What made you decide to take that approach instead of the typical advice of just focus on one campus and get master it? Well, I, I did understand I should have chose one campus, but I was two two things. I was one really, really curious of what the real world had to offer because Hustlers University 2.0 uh, just rolled out that day when I joined. Obviously, we're in four now. Um, so I, I was really curious to see like what was new, what what they had to offer. But then also, I learn like extremely fast. So I thought, how about if I jump into a few campuses? And I'll, and I'll see what I pick up the first, like, like see, see what I pick up the fastest and see if I, can, uh, if I can carry it on into something bigger. And I found copywriting as the best, so. Interesting. So give me a breakdown of when you joined campus, don't have to give dates, but just in chronological order from when you joined the real world to the campuses you went through and then maybe what clients you got from them and potentially income as well. So I joined the copywriting campus and I have been seeing wins of around five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred around there. Uh, and we're currently averaging out around three hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars currently. Um I say we because I work with my friend. Um and then also I joined the crypto campus and I've been seeing wins of around one to two hundred dollars every few weeks there as well, but I'm not too fully indulged in that. Yep. So when did you get your first win? How long uh, I got my first win within two weeks of get, uh, of setting a goal. So I set my I set myself a goal after I thought I'd learned enough in the in the campuses, and I was like, okay, how many clients can I get in two weeks? And I thought I'd use all the knowledge I got on the campus, and within two weeks I got two clients. One was only a small one because I was kind of using it as a tester, so I got like sixty dollars. But then, the, but then the next client after that was five hundred dollars. So, I paid off a whole year in the real world within two weeks of trying. So, <laughs> you know, that's a that's a good win. Interesting, yeah. Also, uh, in two weeks. So, how many hours were you putting in? Do you remember in those first two weeks? Well, studying wise, almost like definitely three hours a day. But it was like three to five to six hours a day. So, studying and then. Actually, like prospecting, looking out for clients, um, I found it quite. It took a while because I was I was still new to it. Because obviously I'm only two weeks in, but um, I was it was around an hour or two finding clients and sending emails out and all that stuff. However, it it eventually worked. Did you have any prior experience with copywriting or any of this or any other of the skills that you went through? Well, web design and um, like graphics design, yes. However, when it comes to like writing as a whole, terrible. Like I'd failed so much in school. I didn't get one grade in school. Everyone called me a failure. Then I joined the real world and I realized, okay, something's different here. So, yeah. What do you mean by you realize something was different here? When you're not in like the, in this community that we're in, you kind of, you kind of program by the matrix as we all call it. And you think that you have to win in the school system 
So you have to get grades in school. And if you don't, then you're a failure. If you, then you have a second chance in college. If you fail there, you are a failure. And then everyone also gets you down for it. But when I joined the real world, I instantly realized that like there's people making money without even having a single degree. And this money is like more than most, most jobs again. So I was like, okay, I've definitely found a new path here that my parents probably wouldn't approve of, but they will when they see me succeed. So, and uh, yeah, that that seems to be the way things are going now. My family has started to turn a page and they're starting to be like, okay, people can make money online now. It's quite, it's quite cool. Right. Because yeah, you can't really just say through words that, hey mom, I joined this, I'm going to make thousands of dollars or pounds, whatever. Like you have to yeah. show them through your work and through results. It feels quite good to do that as well though, because like, the whole felt for years, like I, I, I've been trying to like, um, like make money other ways online, like music, which I joined at the right time, but I was too like, I didn't know enough about it, so I spent like three years, five years or something making, trying to make music, and um, that just did not work. I made like three hundred dollars in like five years, <laughs> so yeah, that that didn't work. Since you've been through all of the. I mean, most of the campuses probably at this point. How different was the material that you've saw in every campus compared to maybe what you can find out on the internet? Wow. So I like to break it down to people like this because I, I recommend a lot of people to the real world because it's it's changed my life because I, I was kind of lost. So you can, yes, people say to me all the time, but you can just find it on YouTube. And I say to them, okay, so how long did it take you in school to find a teacher that you actually like, that, that you actually understand, and that actually gives you work that you are learned from? And then they're like, okay, it probably took about three years to finally find a teacher. And then I go, okay, well, apply the same rules to finding how to learn things on YouTube. You have to find the right YouTuber who you can understand, who gives you a lesson that you can learn from and who also teaches you something instead of just trying to sell you a course at the end. And then I broke down to them that in the real world, all the lessons are specifically made to um, be understandable for everybody. They've all been looked into deeply. And they've also, <laughs> they're also taught by people who have made big success from the actual skill itself. So, that alone kind of explains that it does work. It's been proven and tested by somebody and you're getting taught by the person themselves. For example, the, can I say names? Uh, mm -hmm. Like Andrew, Andrew in the copywriting campus, um, he has made millions of dollars doing copywriting himself. And now he's teaching it from what he's learned and what he knows works. And I feel like, for example, in school, a teacher tries to teach you business who doesn't own a business. So, you know All right. and you're how old just for perspective oh, I'm, I'm 19 but i joined when i was um just as i turned 19 so i joined just just um eight, eight, i joined at 18 but turning 19. okay nice so how different is the average day now compared to before you joined the real watch wow i'm i'm embarrassed to say but extremely I like like a lot um i spent like years on a game called grand theft auto 5 like my playtime on that is like three years or something which is awful but i didn't know really what else to do in life <laughs> i was just bored out of my mind um but now nowadays i'm seeing myself hit the gym every single day i'm looking to learn new things every day I'm looking to work every day and um, I'm surrounded by a lot better people. So my life has changed drastically to be fair. And I'm also waking up on um, a decent time schedule versus random hours of the day. When you said all that thanks... Sorry. Continue. Oh yeah. I was going to say, but all that is thanks to like the community in the real world and also the advice that's put out. For example, they pledge don't spend over like an hour or two on video games because you'll just get stuck into it. And I can definitely say that 
now I understand how everything like works with like psychology and stuff and the mind and games and all that stuff. I can definitely say that's true. So yeah, they've definitely helped me on um, my uh, lifestyle and health on top of the things I'm learning in there. Useful. Uh, so when you said surrounded by better people, you meant in the community, right? That and also in real life. Yeah. I've, okay. I learned that back in the day, I was surrounded by a lot of fake people. But I didn't really know who to surround myself with because I, I kind of had a bit of a up, uh, rough upbringing. So I just thought anybody who um, anybody who was around me all the time was just considered a friend. But then I came to realize that um, I was getting used by a lot of people. And I learned that because of the real world. I learned like who your real friends can be and who who you can really trust. So now I'm surrounded by a lot of bad people. Right. Love that. So now, since we're on the topic of community, is there any more you'd have to say for maybe what kind of an impact the community within the real world has had on you over the time you've been in? Yes, definitely. So I've so there's been a lot of times. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people in there. So each professor it can't answer every single question all the time, like on the dot. So the community um, is extremely helpful. Like everybody in there is very knowledgeable of what they're talking about. And if you ask a question, then the community will try and answer it to you first. And they'll also like, th they'll help you. Cause like sometimes people have like bad days in there and like the whole community will just come together and be like, like, just, just, just bring them back up. Like they're having a bad day and the community just comes together and just brings that guy back up. And th like, they're, they're really motivating to, um like it's really mo motivating to be in a community with such great people who just want everybody to just do better Every and they just want everybody to learn, make money. Like everybody's got one mind, like uh, one mindset. And that mindset is to just help people get money and just make money themselves and also just be, uh, live a happy life. So the community is quite strong on that point, which is very unique because I've been in like, I've, I've, I won't lie. I have joined other courses before when I was doing music and, um, the community isn't there, really isn't. But uh, within the real world, it's definitely strong. Right. When you were first considering joining, did you think it might be a scam? I only thought it was a scam because of Tate. When I first seen him, he was just seemed like a crazy guy. But I, but now I understand how. Um, marketing and branding and all this stuff works um it's it's kind of funny because now i understand that like he got me um he makes out to be like like a mafia boss that's kind of how people perceive him but really he's actually a really kind of down-to-earth guy he just wants to help everybody because obviously he had a bad uh, he had a good upbringing but in a, in a in a bad place and now he's brought himself to the top so he just really wants to give the same to uh, to everybody else out there. And when I understood his true message, that's when I joined. That's where my, my head clicked. Yeah. So I'd like a bit more there in terms of, is there any more to say for what kind of an impact Tate has had on you personally? Definitely. Absolutely. So a lot of the things that Tate have said resonate with me um, because it's funny. He has a, a very, very similar mindset to me. However, I just didn't understand where I was going in life. So, for example, I didn't have like a goal. I didn't know what the goal would be. I didn't know what the goal should be. And when I was introduced to Tate, I realized that business is the way to go. Because if you work for somebody else, you're just going to be stuck in a loop for the whole life. Sorry, for your whole life. And then I also learned that within the real world, there's opportunities given to you where you can learn a skill and you can live your whole life um, off that skill because yeah, of how um, good it is when it comes like income and stuff. So I realized that if I join the real world, it's going to give me an opportunity. It's going to give me a goal to chase and it's going to give me something to do with my life. So yeah, that's the impact that it had on me. It, it, it gave me something to do and it also gave me a goal to live towards. Love that. I know when you joined the real world, what would you say was the biggest challenge you faced when first starting out? 
yeah, well, the biggest challenge for me in the real world was definitely um, having ADHD and uh, autism, which are two things I have. So I, I look at I look at challenges completely different to what a lot of people do, and I um, I, I kind of look at a lot of things from outside the box, which I know is good in in some like in some things, but obviously some things it also isn't. Um, and also having ADHD, I really struggled to um watch some of the courses mainly just because my focus would just go. Yeah, you know, I just want to go on my Xbox all the time. But once once I learned how to fight that urge, I definitely uh, became a much more concentrated person. I figured out ways to kind of disable having ADHD. Like I feel like I don't have it anymore. It's funny. <laughs> um, I, I I can concentrate like completely now. Um, I and I kind of just learned that through being around sensible people. Like I've always been surrounded by just stupid people childish people however i've definitely grown up now so right. i can concentrate on tasks a lot more so yeah again i say this quite a bit that the average of the five people we spend the most time with common quote but as you were saying <laughs> back when you spent time with people before maybe they would have been in similar situations as you so that idea of you can't get out much you can't be as productive because of ADHD, maybe other things, they would have propagated it as well. But now when you're in the real world and there's a completely different mindset surrounded by different people, you see that it doesn't have to be something that holds you back and you can even push for it. Absolutely. I mean, I used to be surrounded by people who would want to go to the park and then they would just sit in the park and talk about nothing, like literally just silence. And I would just waste hours and hours and hours just sitting there like, yeah, what are we doing? And now I'm surrounded by like, so for example, my five closest friends, uh, I, I won't give names, but I'll tell you what they do and how they benefit me. So I've got a friend who's practically a bodybuilder. He's also my age. So he's teaching me how to like, you know, go to the gym all the time and like get big in the gym. I've got a friend who is a fighter. So I'm learning how to fight. A friend who's... um really really keen on his nutrition so i'm learning a lot about nutrition and i've also got a friend who um, i'm running a business with so i'm learning also a lot about business but also from the real world so i feel like i'm surrounded by five great people in real life but then when it comes to online i would, I would definitely say both the tates um my copyright professor and my freelance professor so dylan andrew uh, or andrew tate as well tristan tate and uh, yeah, I I just feel like I'm surrounded by uh, great people everywhere I go now. And ever since during the real world, I will add, I haven't seen a sad day. I look at life completely different now. So, yeah. Just give a bit more perspective to that for people who might not be familiar with the like scale that Andrew talks about. What do you mean by you haven't had a bad day or seen a bad day? Well, well what I mean by that is... Okay, imagine, to, would you take a million pound now, but you die tomorrow? Or live your life normal for, for the rest of your life, but you have no money? Everyone's going to say, I would rather live the, my, the rest of my life, okay? And then just, just, that, just that quote alone just makes you think, wow, life is definitely more important than a million pound. So it doesn't matter how much money you have, it matters if you wake up the next day. And that makes me happy and makes me smile every single day. So now moving on to what would you say have been the three biggest lessons you've learned from your time in the real world? My three biggest lessons in the real world would definitely be my writing. So I, I can write a lot better than I am. Um, I used to be before I joined, uh, would also be marketing. I feel like I'm quite good at marketing now. I can get a message across, uh, to an audience. And also, I feel like uh, the importance of health was a really big one. Uh, I feel like I've changed my life a lot in a way with when it comes to fitness, what I eat, what I don't eat, and what I drink and all that stuff. So I feel like they're the biggest lesson of, lessons I've definitely learned in the real world, which have impacted my life quite a bit. Nice and concise. I like it. And now going on to... Would you say the wind channels from the different campuses, did they have any kind of impact on you as you were going through them? When I joined, 
I, I thought the wind channel was fake, but then I, I really, really like had a good think about it because I'm quite like techy and I was thinking there's no way these can be fake. <laughs> like, I kind of thought, right, there's this many people in the campus. There's around this many winds coming in. This must be real. And and then I started looking at the numbers and clicking on the images and I was like, wow, these numbers are ridiculous. I'm just seeing people like, I've just bought like a new Lambo. I've just bought a new Rolex. I've just earned 10K this month. I'm like, what the hell? And so then to further go into my curiosity, I started messaging a few of the people um, on Discord at the time. And they were actually giving me replies, like genuine replies. And I was like, wow, these aren't bots. So <laughs> I'm like, wow, these wins are real. So that really boosted my confidence. And then I was like, okay, I've got to, I've got to like proper settle down and, um, start concentrating now. Instead of, instead of just messing around all these campuses, I've got to like pick one, stay in, stay on it. And now, you know, everything seems to be going well. So since you're on this trajectory, where do you see your life heading in six months to one year? Okay. Six months to one year. That's kind of fun. Okay. So I'm definitely in six months. So currently I am uh, working on a web developing company with my friend and we'll, once everything goes well with his company, because we're kind of learning off each other right now, we're, we're bouncing the ideas off each other, left, right, and center, and learning from the real world, et cetera. What we're going to do is we're going to split into two companies. So I'm going to have my own, he's going to have his own. And at that time, we should know branding, we should know marketing, we should know all, all that stuff. So by then, I see uh, me and my friend both having companies ready to take off. And within a year, I believe those companies will possibly be in high five low six figures because of the way things are currently going right now before the company is even completely ready so within um a year i, I feel like i'm going to be definitely out the uk and in, and in another country working freelance because that's my main goal which is to get out the uk i don't like it here at all and um i feel like i'm going to be quite far ahead of where i am now because right now I'm kind of just hitting the ramp before I take off. All right. So when things do take off, we'll get you on for a follow-up interview. Just to Absolutely. see that comparison between how things are now and how they will be in future. For people who might be thinking the real world is a scam, what advice would you have to them? So for people who think that the real world is a scam, and I say this to everybody, um, it's definitely not because you could spend $200 on a night out and I, a lot of my friends do, or you could spend a quarter of that and you can have a whole month in a community that is just completely all heads together, money, 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 lifestyle, 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 money, money, money. If you're like, you're just going to put yourself at the top of the ladder in terms of who you're surrounding yourself with versus, versus being surrounded with people who are just wasting that money in the clubs completely agreed and for people who want to find out more about you or contact you where can they do so well i gave myself a bit of a funny instagram handle i called it underscore jb the top g because you know why not <laughs> but uh, yeah. it will be a bit funny jb is it all one one word it's underscore JB, the top G. Yes, it okay. is. All right. So I'll add it to the description of the video. Okay. And Jason, thank you for your time. And I look forward you, to because... doing the follow-up in future. And until then, I wish you all the best. Absolutely. Thank you.